We are going to use this picture here, a vision of the 100 square, to help us see that because our number system is based on 10, that knowing certain things about the single digit numbers, we can easily and immediately transfer those to the other numbers. So to explain what I'm meaning here, if we start with the idea of, let's say, we, 0 plus 4, a nice simple little one, 0, 4 steps, gets us to 4. But we can see the pattern is going to be exactly the same for 10 plus 4 steps. It's going to get us to 14. And 20 plus 4 steps is going to get us to 24. And 30 plus 4 steps is going to get us to 34. Playing with this 100 square and noticing that kind of pattern means that we should be able to very easily see that, well, 80 plus 4, we don't even need to think. The answer is 84, or 90 plus 4 is 94. And in a very similar way, we could take, say, 1 plus 5. Well, what is that? 1, 5 steps further on, gets you to 6. So then... Using this pattern idea, what would 31 plus 5 be? Well, 31 plus 5 steps, it's following the exact same pattern, just in that 30s line, so you're going to get 36. And so we don't have to do any counting or anything of that nature. If we know 1 and 5 is 6, we know that 81 and 5 is 86. And seeing and knowing these repeated patterns is important. One of the things that we really want in this pattern idea is also to see how knowing our bonds to 10 means that we know how to get to 20, 30, 40, 50 or whatever. So, for example, we knew and we've learned hopefully completely that what goes with 7 to get 10 is 3. And we can see that here. If you're at 7, you've got to go 1, 2, 3 steps to get to 10. But that pattern is going to be exactly the same if you're sitting here at 27. 1, 2, 3 steps is going to get you to 30. Similarly, if you were sitting at 37, 1, 2, 3 steps will get you to 40. So knowing that 7 and 3 makes 10, you know immediately that 27 and 3 makes 30, and you'd know, for example, that 67 and 3, without having to do any work, immediately gets you to 70.